Hi, this is Heather from A More Crafty Life. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rainbow Suzette stitch blanket. This is an easy stitch that uses the double and single crochet in combination. Um, for this pattern, you need an H 5 millimeter crochet hook and three skeins of Mandala Ombre um, yarn. I'm using Happy um, or any other worsted weight um, gauge for yarn, and you would need about 15 ounces. And this is the blanket that we're going to be making. And you're going to start with a chain of 108. You need an even number for this pattern. So I'm going to do a sample of 20 to show you what it looks like. Okay, I crocheted 20, um, I chained 20, and you're going to start in the second chain from the hook. For the blanket, I crocheted 108, So, but for the sample, just 20. So I like to do a row of single crochet, so the first row is going to be single crochet, And this mandala um, ombre yarn is easy to work with. It has lots of great colors. You get lots of colors without having to change colors often. Um, it's easy to work with. Comes in a bunch of different colors. It's pretty soft. Okay, so when you get to the end of the row, you'll have a row of single crochet. You're going to chain one, turn, and then this single, this chain counts as the first stitch of your row. So you're going to do a double crochet in the same stitch. Then you're going to skip one stitch, and then you're going to put a single and a double in the next stitch. And this is your repeat. A single and a double and then skip a stitch. So we're skipping the stitch, then you're going to put a single and a double. Skip a stitch, and put a single and a double. Skip a stitch, and put a single and a double. Single, double, and then you want to continue this to the end of the row. Skipping one stitch and then putting a single and a double in the next stitch. Okay, and this is the last stitch of the row. And you put a single and a double. Okay, so this is what it should look like so far. Then you're going to chain one. And this is counts as your first stitch. Um, and this is going to be the row that you repeat from now to the end of the blanket. And you put a 
double crochet in the first stitch. Then you skip these two stitches and you put a single and a double crochet in the single crochet from the row below. So see right here, one single and one double. Then you skip the double and you put the single and double crochet in the single crochet from the row below. And this is the repeat. One single, one double crochet and the single crochet from the row below. And this gives it kind of that interlocking look. That's great for stripes. And that's it. It's the same easy repeat of one single and one double in the double crochet in the single crochet stitch from the row below. And you just repeat this row until you get to the end of your blanket. And I used three skeins of yarn and the blanket's about 30 by 30. And then you put your last stitch in. And then you would chain one and turn. When you get to the final row, you're going to want to put two single crochets just to finish it off so this double doesn't stick out. And so it's going to look like this. Okay, and I'll show you another close-up of the... So here you can see a close-up of the stitch comes out to be about two or three rows of each color and there's um, about five different colors that um, are in the skein. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, you can find more free patterns at A More Crafty Life um, and if you can follow me that would be great. Thanks.